European Commission's Joint Research Center is working on introducing the principles of the three R's replacement, reduction, and refinement of animal use for scientific purposes in primary and secondary education. The lead teachers of the three R's project, coordinated by European Schoolnet, have contributed to the co creation of educational activities implemented throughout the project. Some of them have shared their own experience and impressions about teaching the three R's materials and other project activities. I've been involved in 3R's project since its beginning, helping to test newly developed materials as well as I participate in workshops, mocks and other 3R's project activities. At first, when I introduced the topic, my students didn't know the meaning of 3R's, but as we were discussing more about the topic, they were able to truly understand the meaning of 3R's principles. They were able to gain new respect and awareness to promote the idea that all animals using science also have rights. Students like to do their own research about 3R topics, drawing the animals and also talk with experts. I believe that with this 3R project, students were able to better understand the connection that exists between various subjects they study even non-STEAM subjects. Developing knowledge by linking various disciplines is the future of education, and it's here. To teachers interested uh, in implementing the 3R resources, I would uh, recommend being open-minded, work collaboratively between different classes and levels, as well uh, with other teachers. Always uh, try to look for additional resources to enrich the topic and most importantly inspire your students to want to build their knowledge. Personally, I found the three R's learning scenarios successful and this was further supported by the comments of my students. I felt that the concept was relevant to them and I believe that communicating the three R's, the improvements and developments of technology can help students become more aware of the nature of science. In this way, students realize that science changes and develops over time and that scientists too need to follow rules and regulations to try and be as fair or ethical as possible. This therefore helps humanize the scientist while possibly further generating an interest in science in general. I think that students of different age groups and subjects could benefit from learning about the different elements of the three R's. For all teachers who'd like to try the three R's resources, my main recommendation is that when planning how to teach the three R's, it's important you understand what the objectives of the three R's are and can give the students really good context to see them in action. Students need to understand how animals have been used in research and how these experiments have evolved through time. Hopefully it will provide a fundamental appreciation of how scientific knowledge is developed and the challenges that scientists face.